those intimate lessons. Right now, we'll be doing a Libra monthly reading for the month of May. I'll be pulling out four cards, one for love, one for money. I mean, one for career and one for finance and overall. We'll do some clarification on those four, as well as pulling one card for our love and one card for career. And I'll be using an oracle deck today for guidance throughout the month. <clears throat> and I'll also be using a guidebook because I'm not very familiar with it. All right, so let's go ahead and pull these four cards. Okay, overall for Libra for the month of May, I see you guys are, are feeling a sense of completion or success. Now in love, um, there may be some new uh, relationships or possibly even a birth or, or, or a pregnancy coming up within this month. Only, and I only say that because I have the Empress card and that usually represents fertility and um, are, are the beginning of something new. Um, for career, I got the Knight of Cups, and it usually means in that situation that there's a, a, a drive for something, that you're pushing for something within your career. And I'll, I'll do a clarification to get a little bit more on that. Um, in finances, I have the Knight of Pentacles. And um, when it comes to this card in the finance position, um, the pinnacles do have to do with resources and foundations, but um, the knight is, is still a person who's learning how to master that that part of their life or, or master those resources in their life. So as far as finances for the month of May, I think that there should be maybe um, a little bit more planning and um, yeah, just a little bit more planning when it comes to finances for Libra. This month, let me clarify these three cards up here so we can see exactly what direction the cards are trying to point us in. Okay, so I say that there may be um, the start of something new or some, you know, fertility things going on. Um, I see you guys pulled the judgment card on top of that. So that means that maybe you're getting a second chance at something, um, maybe a rejuvenation of an old love or an old uh, relationship. And it may, you may be getting that second win or that... Um, new beginning when it comes to that relationship. Okay, let's clarify a little bit on career. Okay. I did say that you guys are moving forward <clears throat> in a career, and now I see a little clarification. I see that there may have been some hiccups or some, um, I want to say unhealthy, but maybe some attachments um, to either this job or a previous job before that kind of made you unhappy or feel like you failed at this job. But right now, I think you need to move forward with this career, and it's only because I have the Knight of Cups. And it, it, it's obviously something that you love and something that you desire to do, so just move forward with it. And kind of let go of, of those negative feelings that come along with it, with whatever this is, as far as your career, whether it be your career or your goals. Maybe a feeling of failure. I think you should just let that go and move past that. Let's see what we got for finance. Mm. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, but finance also said that um, maybe you needed to set a budget or, um, you know, learn how to manage your finances a little better. And I pulled the high priestess, the fool, and temperance, which directly coincides with what I said. Um, you definitely need to put a budget in order with your finances or start this month because it seems like you're making foolish decisions when it comes to your money and you can't you have a hard time controlling where you spend it or how you spend it so this month i think you need to set a budget and concentrate on exactly where your money's going and if it's beneficial to you or not okay so let's pull a card for love So I did say in love for uh, the general overview that you might be getting a second chance or um, kind of a rebirth of an old situation. And you got the Six of Cups and they're saying that, you know, it may be some challenges in the situation or are some things that you may have had to go through, but that you should definitely try to rebuild this and move forward with this situation. Um, you might find some stability and some balance with this situation. Let's pull one for career finance. Car for career and finance was the moon. And that just means you need to find a balance between the two. Um, if you like your job or you like your, your career, your goals, I think you should stick with them. And it may it may not be so much your career than it is you not being able to manage your, your finances and your budget. You might have the money that you need. Um either well within your reach or, or, you know, in your bank account. But the choices that you're making with the money is what has you kind of searching for a new way or, or a new out. And I, I honestly don't think you need to quit your job and pass this new job like I see in your reading. I think you need to stick with it and manage your finances better. And, and I think you'll be happier with your job once you don't have that stress of what's going on with your finances behind you. Okay, let's pull an oracle card for this month so we can get an overview of guidance. Was, was Arthur Catinium, and that's Seek the God with Noble Ideas. So let's get an expanded meaning on this. The expanded meaning says meditate on a historical mythological, mythological figure that has personal significance to you. This may trigger past life memories and help you create your own non-mythic story. Now, how I take this in relation to this reading right now is, like I said, I did see some second chances with love or with a relationship. And um, I saw some juggling some finances and, and kind of questioning your career. And your card was seek God. Seek the God with noble ideas. And that just basically means you may need to meditate a little bit on, on your choices or pray on your choices to make sure that you're 
going the right path or making the right choices when it comes to your career. Especially when it comes to your career and your finances. And that's only because that's where I see the most trouble. Taurus this month. Um, just take some time, meditate. Um, kind of get yourself together. Get your focus together. And make sure that the decisions you're making are beneficial to you. Okay, Libra. This has been your reading for the month of May 2017. Um, stay tuned. Next week, I'll be doing the weekly reading. And next month, I'll be doing another reading for you guys. If you guys want to read in, my email address will be in the description box. Have a good night.